Greetings, everybody. Today is conditioner day for your do-it-yourself pool maintenance. You may be wondering, what, what is conditioner? Well, when you bring a sample of your water to a pool place and they say to you, oh, you need conditioner. Um, what it does is it protects the chlorine levels. It keeps the chlorine level or chlorine from getting burned off if you're getting a lot of sun. So you kind of need it more in the summertime uh, than you would in the wintertime. But nonetheless, they're going to tell you, hey, you got to add conditioner. And they give you this stuff and it comes in this pail here that you see. But, you know, and, and it's like this uh, kind of powdery, sandy stuff. And, um, Anyway, it's kind of tricky to put it in. If you just dump it into the um, skimmer, um, what happens is it goes into the filter and just sits there for a long time. It takes a while for it to evaporate or for it to um, not evaporate but uh, melt or whatever. So um, it'll just sit in the filter and you can't change your filter because then you're just getting rid of the conditioner. And it also clogs it up a little bit so things like your heater might not work right f until you clean the filter. Um, so a another way of doing it is using a sock, believe it or not. And that's what this is right here. It's a sock. <laughs> it's an old sock. And you just dump some of the conditioner um, you know the powdery substance uh, you put it in the sock now some people might do this and just throw it in the pool but it's ugly and it takes uh, longer it seems to um, uh, to dissolve if you do it that way uh, so I put it in the in the um, skimmer there and it's a little hard sometimes to get it in the sock you know you use a funnel help have somebody hold the sock open I, I just you know whatever you use to jam it open and then dump uh, this stuff in there. Now it is acidic and you don't want to stick this stuff in your eyes or eat it and you probably don't want to leave it on your hands for any length of time because you know it could irritate your hands but just grabbing it uh, grabbing it and putting it in the sock uh, is not, I mean unless you have like little girly hands um, you know it, it won't hurt to, to do it didn't hurt me but I don't know. Anyway you could use a glove uh, one of them little plastic gloves or use a funnel and just pour it in the sock but you can see I'm just you know putting it in there and it doesn't matter if some of it goes in the skimmer because to be honest with you you could dump the bucket in the skimmer and it'll just eventually dissolve um, and, and get into the filter system so um, uh, but and, and, you know, the stuff around the edge, you can just rinse off after you're done filling your sock up. Uh, so, now you could just throw the sock in there, but then it, clog, it could clog up the skimmer a little bit. Uh, so, I kind of hang it so it's just dangling and it's not interfering with the skimmer uh, at all, uh, the, the flow. And... Um, And you can see I've pretty much filled the sock up. Now you can see the sock was empty. You don't leave it in all the time. You know what I mean? It's just if if the conditioner level is low, you know, you got to put like a bucket in. And uh, and it takes like a week, believe it or not, for this stuff to dissolve. But uh, so you just dissolve it like this. You can put two socks in there. Uh, if you want, um, you know, just try to raise the conditioner level. Again, it's kind of optional. All it does is preserve the chlorine levels. Uh, so I tie a knot and it keeps it dangling in a skimmer. And, um, and it's as simple really as that. And uh, then, you know, you rinse it off, rinse your hands off. I rinse it off around the uh, skimmer there and, uh, and we're all set. So I hope it helps you. Um, hopefully it helps my son if he's maintaining the pool. Y'all have a good day now.